Guys, I have been waiting for this moment for about a year and I'm so excited. I finally picked up my RB26 from the machine shop today and I'm going to go ahead and unpack it. All the machining is done. It's ready for the HGS 2.8 liter Step 2 stroker kit to be installed and assembled inside. So if you guys are curious what the machining costs, I want to go over every part of the machining process, what it costs. So if you guys are looking at doing a rebuild on yours, you guys know exactly what it's going to cost you. So let's get everything unloaded. Let's get everything in the garage. Let's take a look at it. All right, we've got the engine stand mount roughly set on there. I got to get these tightened down and then we'll get it on the stand and in the garage and we will take a look. I don't know about you guys that have been following this channel for a long time and waiting just as long as I have. It has been a year since this engine has been back in the garage next to, next to its original car, my R32 GTR. But wow guys, holy crap. Like it's, uh, this is a dream of mine to build an RB26. And after as long as I've waited and everything I've been through, the, these cars aren't cheap. You know, I originally bought the car for $16,500. i am going to have more into this engine build than what I originally imported the car from Japan myself seven years ago. So it's, it's crazy. This is, you know, it's not something that is easy for me to come up with that type of cash and to do this type of build. It's kind of a one-time shot for me. If this doesn't work out, if this, if this doesn't go good, I'm done. The car's going to sit for a long time. So fingers crossed. Let's hope everything goes right. And as the boys say over in Australia, let's go down the JDR rabbit hole and let's see how far we go and how much money we can spend. Actually, not try to spend and end up spending along the way. It is a slippery slope. Once you get going, it is hard to stop. And we are close, guys. Look at everything on the bench. Everything is ready to go. We have everything we need to assemble it, including the brace. Um, I just came back inside after getting everything prepped getting the block on the stand and what my plans are is to get it painted i'm going to swap out all the uh, plugs the freeze plugs with the prp ones so now that we have the engine back up on the stand in the garage i want to just kind of do a quick look with everything with you guys so you guys can see where they machined everything down for the block brace from Platinum Racing products. It's going to bolt right up to here. We get the ARP fastening hardware down here, guys. So that's going to definitely help increase the strength of the block. They've got the bearings placed in there. This whole thing has been mocked up and fitted and tested and everything. We've got the blueprint over here. So if you guys are wondering kind of what the blueprint looks like, this is kind of all my measurements for, you know, piston one through six, all the different clearances for the bearings and everything like that for you guys to look at. But look how good those bearings look. Everything's all brand new. I need to get the block, I need to paint it. But look how good the deck looks, guys. All resurfaced. Look at all the cro cross hatching in the cylinders. brand new and this is uh 87 millimeters i had a lot of detonation a lot of damage in the cylinders so we had to go a little bit bigger over stock but everything is looking fantastic liner place here so i need to take all that out get this painted get it all ready to go and I need to just clean out all the different oil passages and everything before i drop the engine off 
So I wanted to take a second to just go over what the machining cost was with you guys. If you're considering getting your RB26 machined, uh, mine was a little bit more expensive because we did do the PRP block race and we did the spline drive um, crank collar mod. Those are the two biggest Achilles heels of an RB26 when you start building power is oil pressure and that block twist. We don't want to crack the block. So I figured for good preventative maintenance that was something to do and just strengthen up the uh, you know bottom end. But let's go with, uh, I'll, I'll kind of overlay some video to show you everything that was done in the machining process if you guys haven't seen those machining videos, but to wash and ultrasonic the block that was 215 bucks. Meg the block, I'm not sure what that means. $50. Uh, oversized boring, that was $175. Molly finish, $50. Surfacing the deck, $125. Line honing, $175. Mocking up the block with the torque plate for the CNC honing, $220. Checking the rods, checking the pins and balancing everything, that was about $310. And then the one of the biggest expenses was the um, girdle modification to fit the PRP block brace. That was seven hours of labor. So tapping 22 holes, that was three hours, that's $390. And then surfacing the girdle and making everything line up and fit, that was uh, $520. Then the crank collar mod for the PRP um, spline drive oil pump, 250 bucks. So everything all together, grand total 2485 with tax. 27.33.50. So it wasn't a cheap bill, but definitely something that I wanted to do, and something that was necessary to do when when you have engine you know issues. If you guys didn't get a chance to watch the first two episodes of the RB26 machining, I'll put a link in the description down below for the tour that we did at John's Specialty Service. Make sure you guys check those videos out. So yeah, the bill definitely was not cheap, and I want to thank everybody that's been watching my YouTube videos and supporting the channel. That kind of money, that's like two and a half months of YouTube revenue that I've been saving, just all poured right back into the build, right back into the channel. So thank you very much to everybody. If you guys like this type of content, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, share the video. Um, let's go ahead, I'm going to flip this thing over for you guys, and I'll overlay some good pictures of everything. But let's go ahead and put the block brace on there. Okay, so I just have this kind of set up on here and you guys can see hardware and everything goes right in. And I thought about putting all the hardware in here, but I've got everything kind of in the package. I don't want to mess all that up and unbox it all, risk losing anything. Um, but you guys kind of get the point. So you can see how the girdle you know, it was flattened down. The hardware, it's all drilled and tapped. It all mounts right down in here and everywhere in the girdle, everywhere around the edge of where the bottom of the oil pan was on the bottom of the block. So this is good to go. You can see how the oil pickup the lines right up over here. So if you guys were thinking of doing a block race, you can kind of see how it all lines up here. Pretty freaking cool. Same thing all perfectly lined up here. And I can't wait to get this thing assembled and back in my car. I spoke to Intech Racing um, about a week and a half ago. So they've got me on the books here to drop my car off or my engine off with them in about six to seven weeks from now. So my RB26 with being blueprinted is been fully assembled, test fitted with all the clearances. So basically all this information can be handed to the engine builder at Intech Racing. And then we may choose to adjust some of the bearing sizes just for you know final fitment, final assembly. But I'll share all that with you guys as we get to that point. I also have to finish, I wanted to get this video done with you guys. And have to finish the brake videos I'm doing. So I've got the brakes kind of being modified to fit the 370Z. I haven't finished that up, but I gotta strip the entire front of my car apart. I'm gonna be dropping it off to the auto body shop for paint. So we're gonna paint the engine bay. 
So I gotta take everything apart inside there. Probably won't film that because I'm just not gonna have time. I've got about two and a half weeks before I drop my car off there, maybe three weeks for paint. And honestly, guys, I'm feeling kind of overwhelmed with everything. This is uh, way outside of my comfort zone. I'm doing a lot of stuff that I've never done before. And a lot of the stuff, there's not a lot of information out there. So I'm just kind of relying on the people that I know in the community to help me, the professionals, and thank God for them. So. So I want to give a massive shout out to Platinum Racing Products, Josh and Herman over there at PRP. Thank you for working with me on my YouTube channel and thank you for the discount. They gave me a little bit of discount for helping show how this type of install is done and what type of modifications are done to the crank collar for the spline drive oil pump as well as what type of machine do you have to do the bottom of the block for drilling, tapping and machining that uh, girdle. So, Thank you guys. I hope everybody likes the video from PRP and everybody in the RV community. I hope you guys like the stuff I'm trying to show. I'm trying to answer all the questions and show all the detail to the stuff that I personally want to know. So I hope you guys are there with me. So today's video guys is just really short and sweet. Kind of more of just a channel update to see for you guys to see where I'm at. If you guys are thinking of getting your engine machine, what it's going to cost to pay a machine shop to do the machining. So it would have been about $1,500 if I didn't do the block brace, the crank collar mod, and that type of stuff. That added about an extra $1,000 to $1,200. But we're going to be good to go fixing the Achilles heel of the RV26, which is the oil pump and the uh, block twisting. So we're good for big power. We're going to be going with the HKS Step 2 full stroker kit, 87 millimeter. All the parts are here on the table. So... It's literally just a matter of time after two years. It's been over two years since I had the turbo failure on my car and it took a year just at the machine shop in line just waiting to get the machining done. So things are going to start coming together and uh, I'm going to take you guys along for the ride and share all this with you guys on the channel. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.